all right guys we're back for another dokkan battle video and i went through the infinite dragon ball history with our boy uh beerus and then also brought uh the new Whis with him uh into the dragon ball super broly stage of the infinite dragon ball history event which i believe i, I would probably from what i you know from what me talking with other people and from playing it myself it does feel as though the broly stage is a little bit harder than the future trunk stage um Okay, both both coolers are rainbowed. Uh, the only thing is, mm, okay, okay, the, the whole okay, okay, the whole rotation is going to be fine in this first turn. I do have to remember, cooler is giving a support type buff of thirty percent to all three units here because all three units are transformation boost. Um, so we shouldn't really be in too much danger. Uh, can this Trunks have his attack lowered? I think he can. So we're actually going to be looking pretty good here. Um, I will be transforming with cooler. I think as quickly as possible, maybe. The second cooler, I will leave untransformed. I might do that. Um, because if I do that, I, I could potentially have them as a rotation. But I think eventually what I'm going to want to do um, is actually have Golden Frieza and Transformed Final Form Cooler together as a rotation. I am bringing the Blue Fusion together because I decided to make this video as sort of like a companion video to that Beerus one I did, right? Like, I really... Oh, dude, I gotta get a super... Are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> uh... Okay. We're good. We're good. I have to do this. I must... Gohan cannot double super anything. I must get super attacks for transforming Frieza here. Or, or else it, it's a complete dud. We just got complete... Oh, beautiful. Okay, good. Please, tech golden freezer. Just a normal attack. Don't don't double. Oh! Okay, okay. Now, another thing I did is I, I did actually change my transforming Frieza in the hidden potential system and gave him full additionals. And there we go. Uh, <laughs> it paid off right away. So that's a double defensive raise. Because obviously I'm, I want transforming Frieza to have as much defense as possible by the time we get to the end here. Um, because of what just happened, however, I do want to prioritize Frieza defensively, I think, moving forward. So... Mm, or I want to prioritize Frieza uh, stacking his defense until he's fully transformed. Then at that point, I'll worry about the fusions. So uh, who's going to be better off here? I, I guess they're going to be pretty much the same Cooler or Gogeta or Vegito or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and do this. Again, I'm going to leave Cooler right there. The reason I'm leaving Cooler in that spot is so he'll work better with Transforming Frieza when Transforming Frieza comes around, right? Because uh, Transforming Frieza needs to help the super attack. I must get him as many supers as possible because, you know, again, this is a difficult stage. Oh, it looks like this Goku Black can have his attack lowered, which means Cooler will dominate him. A double super attack right here. That's GG for Goku Black in terms of the damage he can deal to us. So that's really, really good. So, so far, Cooler has been looking good. Again... I want this video to sort of be a companion piece to the Beerus uh, against the Broly stage. So now we'll have Cooler against the Future Trunks stage. Because, uh, you know, before the five-year anniversary, um, I did not deem this event hard enough to take units into it, like, as a, like, a standalone video. But now, um, with these two stages during the five-year anniversary, these stages are relatively difficult. And, like, the blue fusions keep you from dodging and stuff like that. So, like, again, these stages are tough. So, I think taking Dokkan Fest exclusives, high-level, like, LRs and Dokkan Fest exclusives in here, it does merit a video, right? So, then again, because the Sage wasn't out when Cooler initially dropped, I did not do a video on, on it with him at the time. So, that's what I'm doing here. I don't care about Golden Freeze super attacking. Um, I will do this. And then, sure, we'll give Gohan the big super attack right there. We maybe could finish Goku Black off on this turn. Um, because, remember, Goku Black is not a pure or hybrid Saiyan, so we were not able to f uh, transform early with Cooler. I mean, I guess that does hurt him a little bit, because we've now done a, so many attacks, and he's not transformed yet, where he's stacking his attack, right? So that's the thing. Beerus, in terms of, like, these long events, I do think is a little bit better, because, you know, he is going to be stacking right away. Uh, which, uh, very clearly, you know, with uh, Cooler, that's not the case. You know, although cooler lowering attack was helpful in this stage right here. Okay, so oh boy, this is scary. I, I, I don't. This is scary right here. I, I should have not done as much damage to Goku Black on that last turn because a Goku or Frieza has to go in slot one, and yeah, 
That could be a lot of damage we might have to eat right there, which I really just don't want to even play around with. But it is what it is because I cannot afford to miss super attacks uh, with Frieza. We have to do it. Please don't super. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Double digits is beautiful. If he doesn't crit right here, potentially we could get a double super attack. Oh, we didn't even double super. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, so now, I think by now we enough turns have passed that I believe Cooler is going to transform anyway, right? So, uh, like, we could just go ahead and activate his active skill. I am, I think, going to do this. Let me see. Mm. Okay, Vegito is locked in that slot. That's okay anyway, because, like, Gogeta is about to come back onto that slot, and they're going to be good together. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do this. That's a super attack for Vegito. We'll go ahead and do this right here. And then I am... Oh, wait, no, no, no. If I... Hmm. I will transform. Because I, 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 what I want... Because I want this video... I want, I, like... This is about Cooler himself versus this stage, right? Like, I did build an, a ridiculously powerful team around Cooler because that's part of it as well. Like, you know, I, I thought Beerus's Realm of Gods slash Explosion of Anger team was just so insane. Um, like, I really wanted to emulate how powerful Cooler's team could also be, right? So that, that's why I made sure to bring the blue fusions onto this team. Since I did it with Beerus, I thought it would only be fair if I also did it with Cooler, right? Now, the bl blue fusions, of course, will completely steal the show, um, but that's okay, because it's going to help us to move through the event much faster than usual. All right, of course, you're super attacking on, a, like, the only turn ever I've ever missed the super attack with Blue Vegito. Thank you. The reason I brought uh, Transforming Frieza, by the way, is for that healing, because I did manage to beat the, uh, again, the Dragon Ball Super Broly stage. Uh, I did manage to beat that without using any items with Beerus' team, so... I really want to do this without using any items as well, if possible. Because um, I think, you know, again, Cooler can do that. Uh, remember that Cooler is not getting guaranteed crits against Goku, Black, and Zamasu. They are not a pure or hybrid Saiyan. Um, which I think is fine, because it's two different units. Like, I think Goku, Black, maybe should be in the pure Saiyan team, maybe. Ooh! Cooler! Triple super attack right there. Now, if this had been a turn where we were going against a pure hybrid Saiyan, the damage Cooler would have done right there would have been absolutely disgusting. Because he would have triple critted on those super attacks, which would have been just, again, wild beyond belief. Okay. Um, let me transform with Cooler. I am going to be very curious to see what kind of defense Cooler is going to have right here. And presumably, if he gets supered quickly, we'll activate Big Bad Bosses. Now, the one of the big differences between Beerus and Cooler is that, you know, Cooler... Or, excuse me, Beerus does not have that big monstrous defensive link on him the way... Or Beerus doesn't have the big defensive link the way Cooler does. What's Cooler's defense? 125k, yeah. See, th this is where Beerus is superior. Beerus' defense is definitely better. I will do this right here, Cooler in slot 1. Um, then Transforming Frieza right there in slot 2. Uh, able to get the super attack off. Uh, even if Cooler triple supers, I don't think he'll be able to finish off this um, Goku Black and Zamasu. Okay. So this will activate Big Bad Bosses right here. Unfortunate that, you know, we're going to get hit before Big Bad Bosses is activated. I mean, it, it just it is what it is. So he's at 3.19, linking up with uh, Transforming Freeze is obviously good. Now, again, I actually would prefer, I think, if Cooler would ease up. Do not triple super for me right here. Please don't. Okay, good. And then, because I, I want the opportunity for Transforming Frieza to super attack multiple times. Transforming Frieza next to Cooler, by the way, is able to put up monstrously big damage. Like, as you guys can see, like, that, those, that, those attack stats by Frieza are really good, considering he's also healing the way he is. But, I mean, that, that attack stat was with Big Bad Bosses. If Cooler was untransformed, Frieza's attack stat would have been higher, obviously. All right, GG. <laughs> it's over. Um, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and use uh, one of the active skills here. I am. Because I don't really... Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this right here to heal up. Um, and then I don't really feel like taking this damage. Because I know Goku, Black, and Zamasu are going to super right there. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and do this. And we're just going to clear them away. I did Gogeta's active skill. Um, because Gogeta... Wait. Yeah, Vegito has done more attacks than Gogeta up to this point. Remember that they get 7% attack and defense per attack in slot 1 or 2. Gogeta is able to get that. We finished the phase off, so we get to see the, the uh, little flick of the wrist. Gotta love it, and we'll go ahead and move on to the next phase. Um, when I went through the stage uh, with Beerus' team, I actually did not get any active skills with any of these characters. So I, I was just thinking, like, 
I can just go ahead and bust this out right now because I might not get another opportunity to use active skills. So I, I wouldn't hold that negatively against Cooler and his team that I use that active skill like that because, you know, I, I could have had an opportunity to do that in Beerus's run, but I chose not to, thinking I would need to do it later, but I didn't. That one, I just did right there to save us from taking a little bit of damage. Again, I did not need to use that active skill, but it helped out. Okay, so now it's over because now cool... Yeah, dude, look at this damage. This is not going to hurt bad because we have Big Bad Bosses active, I think, right? Yeah, 45k. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so Vegeta just gets utterly annihilated. This super attack animation, this is the only Frieza to have this animation, right? So bizarre, I think. Uh, no double super. Man, we only got one double super attack. That's okay, I guess. Um, still better than none, right? All right, and then this cooler, of course, will finish off Vegeta right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, when Cooler's going against a pure hybrid sand, again, GG is the word we're looking for. Okay, so who has higher defense right now? Okay, there's the answer to that. Uh, I'm going to save the AGL orbs for Gohan. Um, so I'm going to do this, I guess, right there, bam, and then that will allow Gohan to get a bunch of AGL orbs and heal us up, right? Because, again, I'm trying my best. Wow, 5,000, really? Well, I mean, the fusions haven't really had a chance to spread their wings yet so far in this event. Again, are you kidding me? Thank you so much. Thank you, Goku. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that should be okay, though, because, uh, Vegito will do so much damage with this Dokkan attack right here, and then transforming Frieza is going gold next turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Transforming Frieza's album is doing pretty solid next turn, so uh, his healing is going to go up. Now, I haven't really looked at the details for Transforming Frieza in quite a while. I, I need to re-familiarize myself with what Transforming Frieza does at gold. I know he does not get any defensive buffs. See, if, the, if Transforming Frieza and Goku came out nowadays, they would be so ridiculously OP because they would be stacking attack and defense up to the last form, but also have a defensive buff in the last form. All right, so Frieza, 120% attack and 15% HP at the start of turn as Golden Frieza. Then, of course, you know, him and Goku both have a 70% chance to stun. Um, and then they also have the, uh, you know, auto super turn one and then also the uh, guaranteed crit. Um, Golden Frieza does have shocking speed, which doesn't help with Cooler, right? Because Cooler does not have shocking speed, unfortunately. Sort of the one negative about him that Beerus does not have is that Beerus didn't get shafted with shocking speed the way Cooler did. Okay, now, yep, we can go ahead and do this. Now, at this point that we've reached gold with uh, Frieza and he's no longer stacking, at this point, we can go ahead and float him. He can go ahead and remain uh, floating off rotation, uh, which will work really, really well for us. Um, and, you know, we might actually finish Trunks and Mai off right here. Yep, perfect, perfect. Glad I did this. Um, so, Golden Frieza is, I think, stunned. No, oh, no, 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 that's a suit. Don't they, they use some Mafuba too, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. I think Trunks and Mai, they might be able to double super, and their other super, I think they do the Mafuba, which I think can, like, uh, seal and lower attack and stun. Like, it does craziness. Oh, hopefully they don't do it against Cooler. That's going to hurt really, really bad. And we just healed with a Dokkan attack, and I just floated Transforming Frieza off food that heals us. Please don't super right there. Oh, oh I got scared for a second. All right, so, yeah, like, you know, Cooler... I don't know, because Beerus hits higher attack stat numbers, right? But the thing about Cooler is he does so many attacks, whereas Beerus, you know, you're just going to see him pretty much do the one attack uh, most of the time, whereas Cooler is, like, always attacking at least twice. Uh, so that's interesting. All right, so here's the situation, by the way. Um, I will not use the active skill there. But here's a situation where, like... A lot of people will will talk about how good Cooler is, and they'll say, like, oh, one reason he's so good is because he supports the blue fusions, which is true, and transformation boost. But, like, in a long, difficult event like this, it's obviously smarter to transform with Cooler, and then at this point, he no longer does have those support-type abilities, right? So, like, right here, if we were untransformed, we would be dramatically increasing the power of the fusions, but since he's transformed, we're not actually able to do that, right? So keep that in mind. All right, so uh, this is pretty scary <laughs> because Merge Zamasu is, again, another enemy that loves to super attack multiple times. The good news is we do get Transforming Frieza next turn. That's really good news. So <laughs> uh, I'm actually a little bit nervous here because <laughs> Zamasu, again, like in like every event where uh, Zamasu is a boss, 
it's like always his gimmick that he double supers and he has multiple different super attacks as well like animations he does it in the lr zamasu uh, extreme z area he does it in the tech and agl merge zamasu dokkan events he does it here as well so we're probably gonna get supered on cooler and it's gonna hurt big time oh we got lucky Whew, okay it would have done like 250k plus the cooler like it would have been real bad because again um uh beerus is superior to cooler uh like after beerus gets hit once um his his defensive level is definitely superior to what cooler is able to do um although we didn't have big bad bosses in that turn either so that's an important thing to remember okay that worked out what a beautiful turn that this turned out to be right here um oh and we can get the super attack with golden freeze as well which we'll definitely go for um perfect 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 yes that okay we actually got super lucky right there so we we're able to get gogeta a bunch of attacks which he needs because the way this works it always seems like vegeto ends up doing more attacks to me uh just because i always end up putting him in slot one just for whatever reason it just seems the way that that's the way it always works out right good he got his hidden potential system for the 21 percent attack and defense on this turn um but we were able to keep gogeta away from getting hits with uh type advantage and then, you know, we got Transforming Freeze on the last slot as well. Oh, Transforming Freeze ain't even going to get an attack, huh? <laughs> yeah, these two are a little bit silly, right? Like, they're they're a little bit dumb. Um, oh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Transforming Freeze will finish uh, this boy off. What's next? Blue Vegito and then Trunks, I think? Um, now, remember, Blue Vegito, we can't dodge against Blue Vegito. I mean, I don't really think that's too big of an, uh, a problem. Um... Tech Golden Frieza having type disadvantage. Oh, he's tech. I, for some reason, I was thinking he was um, int. That's okay. Definitely going to do this. Which cooler has higher attack? Uh, well, here, let me do this. Which cooler? Uh, okay, my cooler has been on rotation the whole time. Okay. So, hmm. I'm actually a little bit nervous right here. Um... I really would prefer not to eat supers again with the coolers, if possible. Tech Golden Freeze will be completely fine, right? But, like, you know, cooler, especially if he doesn't have big bad bosses active, you know, in these, like, later stages of difficult events, he'll take a lot of damage. And, again, you know, we have fusions and stuff that we're fighting here. I mean, Vegito, honestly, should be in the pure Saiyan category. You know, I've I, I really been talking about it a lot lately because I really would love Dokkan to make that change. Dokkan should make that change i mean legends just show like they just put um the legendary finish legends limited blue vegeta from the future trunks arc they just put him onto the future tag in legends oh this is bad yeah this is real bad see beerus yeah beer <laughs> beerus in that same situation would have been fine he, he we, we would not have taken nearly as much damage again beerus is superior defensively in these types of situations now the way this turned out ended up bad where we're not going to get big bad bosses for this last cooler either we shouldn't die but i am going to have to use an item now which is unfortunate i mean again here's you know and, and like beerus and weiss are healing 20 percent hp per turn cooler has metamorphosis but tech golden frieza doesn't i guess i could have put him on rotation with janemba but janemba's shocking speed cooler doesn't have shocking speed so here we go I mean, actually, this video, I think, helped my case a little bit that Beerus is superior to Cooler. Um, I think it's close, but I do think Beerus is on top. And again, this feels like this proved it a little bit too... Well, just not proved it, but put a little bit more evidence in my side. Because again, this didn't happen with Beerus when we were going through these uh, difficult events, right? He takes that first hit, which does a lot of damage. But then after that, he's taking double-digit damage from normals. And he can tank supers pretty well, even against these difficult events. Yeah, I mean, I just, hmm. See, I, I, I'm going to have to use an item. I have to. I have to use an Android 8 right here. Um, yeah, I, I had to because, the, like, Vegito, the chances of him not supering right here are nil, right? Like, he's going to super on this turn. And, you know, I don't know. It's unfortunate. Uh, I mean, this stage, I suppose, isn't the greatest for cooler because not every enemy is pure or hybrid saiyan right like zamasu is not pure hybrid lr goku black goku black um it is gonna end with trunks who's a hybrid saiyan you know trunks and mai are obviously not a pure hybrid saiyan um but when the stage you went through with beerus it was the same thing you know broly golden frieza 
uh, are not Realm of Gods uh, units for Beerus. And, you know, Beerus was still performing very well. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm leaning towards my boy Beerus. Uh, you know, Cooler's good. He is damn good. But, uh, you know, Beerus, I think, is just built a little bit different, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. You know, it, it's not Cooler's fault that Beerus is just built different, okay? You know, I'm just... I'm just tossing it out there, all right? Because uh, these teams are, like, pretty close. You know, like, we had AGL, LR, Gohan on both teams. We had the Fusions on both teams. Um, the big difference was really just, like, you know, you can run, like, Beerus and Whis. I guess... Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> uh, All right. So, here we have Cooler with Type Advantage. Obviously, very good. And Cooler is also going to be able to do the guaranteed crit. Ooh, right there. He's at 187k. That's, wait, that's without Big Bad Bosses? Why is his defense so monstrous right there? I feel like that's higher than usual. Um, so, with Big Bad Bosses, he would be over 200k right here. Very, very impressive for sure. Cooler doesn't have a defensive link, does he? No, because Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Brutal Beat Down, Metal Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, sure. Let's just go ahead and slap our boy Trunks down right here. Um, yeah, we're gonna... What's Frieza's defense at the end? Oh, 133k. Okay, so that's with, uh, what, five super attacks before he went gold? That's not bad. All right, if, if we had had Cooler in this slot, he would not have taken a lot of damage at all. He, he, he would have been fine right here. Um, if we had had Cooler right there, he would have been totally good. Man, yeah, again, like, with Cooler... If we had big bad bosses, he would be over 200k defense right here, which is obviously very, very good. Um, you know, that's where uh, his leader skill, the double 170%, but only 130% HP could come in handy, is to help his defense out. Um, from what I've seen, the defense really impacts you much more against normal attacks than it does against supers. Like, the extra defense will not save you too much damage from super attacks. Um, but it will save you a decent amount of damage on normals, usually. But, um, the extra HP, you know, if we had some unit with 170% HP, we would have, like, 150k more HP. So, like, the, the difference there, I, I think, is more impactful. Because usually super attacks are, like, what runs the chance of killing you. It's not, um, oh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, it's the super attacks that run the chance of killing you, not really the normal attacks most of the time. Um, so... All right, I think Vegito should be able to finish this off right here. Um, not too often you get to see the active skills for the fusions. We are able to use both of them here. I don't think we should use that. Oh, oh, oh wow. I don't think we should use that as a negative, um, like, towards the Beerus vs. Cooler comparison that I use the active skills here. Because um, it was just, I think, more b uh, bad luck uh, in the last one. But we did have to use an item because Beerus did, or er, it was cooler, took a significant amount of damage against Vegito Blue. I'd have to, I, I would want to go back and rewatch that video and see what exactly Beerus did um, in the same phase, which would be against Gogeta Blue. Um, but I feel like Beerus dominated. Hmm. So there we go. There was Cooler against uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History. I mean, he definitely performs incredibly well. But it's like, you know, you think about Cooler in the one long uh, running stage, which is the Legendary Goku event, where the whole way through, Cooler ha is able to guarantee crit, because it's a pure saying the whole time, right? Whereas, it's pretty much the same thing with Beerus, where after the initial stage, it's Realm of Gods the whole way through. So, I did think it was... I thought this was a fair comparison, actually, you know, because, again, like, I, I, about half of the enemies in the other stage are Realm of Gods for Beerus, and, like, half of the uh, enemies in this stage were pure hybrid Saiyans. Like, like it's pretty close. So, there we go. Um, I mean, y'all let me know. I know a lot, a lot more people like Cooler right now than they do like Beerus, but, I mean, that's, you know, Cooler just dropped on Global, so, of course, Global players are going to say Cooler is better, right? Like, <laughs> that's just the way it's going to work. I mean, we'll see what happens when Beerus drops on Global. Hopefully, they do not switch up his banner and Cooler remains on Beerus's banner on Global. That would obviously be ideal. Um, but, regardless, I do think Beerus and Cooler... And then you could probably slide blue uh, SCR Kaioken Goku on that level as well. Those three are like the top three Dokkan Fest TURs right now to me by a long shot. A long shot. They are very, very impressive. So, again, let me know what you guys thought of SCR Cooler's performance here. Again, he was very good. 
you know, those turns where he double and triple super attacks are just so crazy. And if it's against a pure hybrid Saiyan, just critting every single time, like, just ludicrous amounts of damage. So again, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.